good morning. How are we all doing today? Do you know what? See the last vlog I did, I realised that I did like basically coffee ASMR without the ASMR. It was visual coffee ASMR. <laughs> that makes no sense because there was no sound. But I spent like a good two or three minutes in that last vlog just like editing my coffee making situation which is quite ironic because this morning I don't even have any coffee so I'm off to the shops I've made a list checking it twice <laughs> sorry couldn't not do that I hate myself there's this app and it's called shopping list UK basically you make a note right so let's just have a look at my shopping list right so here's my shopping list like that you literally just make it like a note don't put it in any particular order and then you want to press the word start and this starts to categorise everything into fresh fruit, veg and flowers, milk, cheese, eggs and chilled, fresh meat and fish, tins, miscellaneous, bakery and everyone needs this in their life. It's so good because once you've been in the shop and you've like got stuff you can tick it all off and then if there's anything you didn't manage to get in that particular shop it will still be on your list. It's really good and you can also share it with your other half but yeah just wanted to let you know about it it's really really good it's free as well which is ideal it's got a couple of ads on it for ebay just now but yeah really really good app good for planning good for budgeting good for january february march start of the year when we're all trying to be a bit more on it with the organization so i'm going to go to aldi this morning and home bargains i need to get a few things for charlie's birthday which is tomorrow they get wrapping paper and um, i got my batman card i got him batman pants so he'll be buzzing and I need to get some balloons. I was going to do the balloon arch but last year when I did it my friends were here to help me and this year I don't have any help. So I'm like, actually drop me out, there's no way I'm doing it. It's just so much work. Anyone who works in balloon making businesses, like hats off to you because it's so hard. Um, but I think I'll just go and get some balloons inflated for him for his birthday. Just get like a big four. And I think they do character ones. I'm certain they do Batman. So I'm going to try and get some of them for his birthday tomorrow. I'm going to make his cake. So I'll show you that later today. I'll need to probably do it in stages. Like make some sponges today. Ice them later on and then hopefully it'll be ready tomorrow. Let's just hope it's not Pinterest versus reality. Because I'm actually alright at doing their cakes every year. But I feel like this year because it's Batman themed and I can't just wing it and it needs to be exactly like Batman, then I'm just worried I'm not going to do it justice. I might try and get my mum to print me off a template online, because my printer's not working, I don't know what's going on. I could even maybe try and sort that out later. Um, but I need to print off like a template so that I can follow it, because otherwise it's just going to be really, really crap, isn't it? Like when you go on holiday and get a henna tattoo of Betty Boop and it just looks like Betty's in the road. Anyway, let's go to the shops. So just quickly before I go, this is so low down. What's going on? Remember there, when I went to the shops the other day, Fry, you can listen to this story. The other day, right, you know how it's the worst thing ever when you forget a mask and you're like, I literally can't go anywhere apart from staying in my car. Um, I was wearing this jacket, which I wear to walk the dog. When I put this on, Maggie's always at me because she just thinks she's getting out, right? So anyway, I was like, oh no, I've not got a mask, blah, blah. Went in my pocket, I was like, right, finally I've got one, right? Went to put it on. As soon as it hit my face, I was like, this smells like dog biscuits. Fran, know the pure meaty dog treats she's got? My mask was stinking of Baker's dog treats and I had to wear it the full way around Lidl and it was at, I mean, it was nearly sick in my mouth. It was at on, so it's horrendous. Literally like this, absolutely stinking, not this particular one. In fact, that does have a wee bit of a smell of it. It was absolutely disgusting. Imagine putting your face inside dog kibble like in the bag and just keeping it there for a full shopping trip. It was horrendous. And I kept thinking to myself, see if I can smell that, can everyone else smell me smelling my dog biscuits? So embarrassing, but you know, it's just, it, I had to get it done. There was no way I was going back to the house. I was already there. I had to just go and complete it. But then, there we go. Don't put your face mask in where the dog treats go. You being an angel? Yeah, you I'm play Mario Kart? Yeah, with the trains. You're in with the trains? What one are you? Are you Donkey Kong? Yeah, I was in that wee tiny guy. Hello, who are you? Musky guy. guy. What's his name? I don't know. It's not Shy Guy. What's that, that you guy's name again? I forget. Wait, I'm going to go up. Oh, oh. Mother, I wanted to go the wrong way. 
going you want to go the wrong way? I'm going the shortcut. Bye. Bye, mom. Bye, mommy. Bye, mom. Oh. You know what winds me up so much when they call me mum? It's mummy. <laughs> Anyone else feel like that? I'm just like, mm. oh my god, you know what? I am struggling today. My friend Gemma is a PT and, like most of the world, lockdown got me and I ate it. And I've put on, like, honestly, stones, stones in weight. Um, not just pounds, stones. So I thought, do you know what? See, just for the sake of getting back into fitness, go and get some help. <laughs> <laughs> Enlist some help. Go and do Gemma's classes. So anyway, she's on Instagram. Our classes are free. So if you are looking to get the fitness, then go on and do them. They're really good. Um, a lot of them either are just body weight or all you need is a resistance band. So you can get them online like really cheap. Anyway, um, did her class and I am not joking. I can hardly move. Like, I can hardly move. Now, that, that either shows that the class is really, really hard, which at the time I was thinking, this is pretty difficult, but it's um, also just showing up how unfit I am. So, genuinely feel as if I've ripped my thighs in half, which would be quite nice um, if I could actually cut them in half, because they're huge at the moment. Um, and what are jeans? Who, when was the last time we wore jeans? Honestly, guys, I'm like, I should have been one of those people that at the start of lockdown said, right, I am not going to get into the habit of wearing comfortable clothing because your body is just not used to it. We're not used to this level of comfort anymore. Anyway, I'm off to Aldi to try and avoid the bakery aisle, which will prove difficult. Um, but I think the fact that I can, I'm basically waddling. My mum was really concerned. She's like, you need to take a foam roller and go and get those legs rolled out. The good thing is it's worked and I now just need to keep going because if you stop that's when it then gets harder because then you have to go through all this again so I'm going to stay on it she's doing a 16 day challenge if anyone wants to follow her Body Blast by GB that's the Instagram handle it's free there's free fitness classes on it it's really good and they're half an hour long so you can easily fit them into your day okay bye also it's taken me all my time to realise that my eyes are covered in mascara because I'm basically 10 years old again and don't know how to apply eye makeup. It's been so long. So now I need to do the old lick your finger and wipe. Classic mum over here. I'm dreading this. I just opened my car boot in the bag. Just went like that. And it was the one with the eggs in it. It had to be the one with the eggs in it. So now I need to figure out if I've got 15 free range Scottish eggs or if I've got 15 cracked free range Scottish eggs. Let's see. Oh man. What's the Oh well, an egg's fallen. Oh my god, an egg's fallen out. Yeah. And it's cracked. Yeah. Oh no, there's two, there's two loose eggs. Careful, 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 careful. Don't lift it like that. Ooh. Don't lift it like that, Ella. Oh my god. We have one, two, three, four. Four cracked eggs. Four cracked eggs. This one's still intact. That fell out the bag and was inside just rolling around and it was still, still intact. Also, I have reached a new level of sad. So basically, I use these glass jars to store all my eggs. So I'll just sit you in a nice little time lapse while I pop all this away.
so Charlie? Charlie, I think there's an egg in this egg. There's a wee chicken in this egg, look. You're going to see it hatch, oh my goodness. Is there a chicken in there, Charlie? It's a red. Oh, is that a wee chicken? It's not a chicken. Let's try another one. Right, I'm going to try one. That was a silly one. I'm going to see if there's a wee chicken in here. He is totally caught on to this game. No, look, that one's got a feather, look. <gasps> look. That one's got a feather, look. Charlie, it's going to be a wee chicken, look. Look. <gasps> it's starting to hatch. Charlie, look. <gasps> it's hatching. Tell it to come out. Come out. Say, come out, wee chicken. Come out, wee chicken. Ah! <laughs> Yeah. This is my finger. <laughs>spots the works it's all going on making charlie's cake for his birthday it's like much later now it's actually 12 o'clock at night classic me the night before any of my kids birthday up till silly o'clock getting things organized and um, his cake let's look at it this is his cake it's had is that a crumb coat you call that so basically i've made three different cakes i've sponged them together with um layers of buttercream and jam and then I've obviously put on some buttercream on top and spread that out so that's got a bit of a yellow food colour into it and what I'm trying to achieve is a Batman emblem on this like that so what I'm planning on doing I'm just copying his costume so that's the costume there I'm just trying to copy this so I'm going to make a black cake with this yellow outline, so I might just do like a yellow semicircle type thing. Is that a semicircle? No, that's not. It's an oval. Oh my god, an oval shape, and then this shape of the bat cut out in black fondant and stuck together, and hopefully it will work. So let's get started. Really, really quickly though, before we do, wait till you see these. As you can see, Air Force Ones, but they've been customised. Fraser found. A company that do customised shoes. Charlie obviously been an avid Marvel and superhero and villain fan. Got my pair of Air Force Ones but got them customised with like classic Batman and Superman on them. How cool is that? Um, so they're black with Batman and Superman so that's the good foot. And then what do you see this? I think this is my favourite one. Lex Luthor. And Joker. How nice are they? He's going to love them so much. Along with that we got him the Dark Knight costume. So it's a darker Batman costume. And then we've also got my Robin costume. Loves dressing up. So um, these are just great to have because he does get good use of them. So look at that. That comes with a mask. Um, and then obviously Robin as well. So I'm going to wrap these up. Um, his balloons are already up and I just need to get the cake finished and get to bed. You love that, mommy. Thanks, so. I think um, so. I told them that it was his birthday so, he, so he's not too late for the party. Charlie, happy birthday! Do you like it? It's so soft. Don't do that and take it out. Just hold it in the now. Don't take it out, darling. What's that? Wait, was that my mask again? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like Batman. Maggie. Maggie. 
That's Batman takes Nancy's costume. Can I eat it? Do you like it? Yeah. Mummy made it. Mmm. <laughs> Is it yummy? Charlie, do you want to open your presents? Wait for Daddy. Wait for Daddy until you open your presents, Charlie. Charlie, can you believe you're a big four today? Yeah. <gasps> How exciting! Yeah. Thank Jesse and Charlie. I think he likes that. No more. I think he likes that. Wait, he's actually. Eating the ice wait, and, Mommy. He's actually eating the ice and not the sponge bit. <laughs> what is he trying? Mommy, wait. Yeah? There's a logo on there. Do you like it? So there's Batman on it. Don't eat the logo because it will not look like Batman anymore if you eat the whole logo. Right, no more cake. Because it won't look like Batman's He's taking a chunk out of his cake. <laughs> right, Charlie boy. Want to come see your presents? Yeah. Whoa! Look at her for you! <gasps> a Robin costume! Black Panther, Iron Man, and another Black Panther. Look, Charlie, let me show you what to do. I think this is what you're supposed to do. Yes. <gasps> okay, come. Drums. Can I do my drums? Yeah, go and send your drums in. Uh, just, uh, wait. Does that say for us? Yeah, it does be good. Yeah, it does say for us. If I test, can I open my present? Yeah. The Captain, Captain America. Wait, he just opened the bag. Hey, look at your eyes. I got a cat. Why don't you play your drums? Um, play your drums, Charlie. They're you. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back in there for you. Thank you. And then there's one that's here for me. Yeah, open that one in a second. Aww. Let me see. Um, open up these wee tiny ones. Yeah. Did you know I like cats? Yeah. So you got that for me. Oh, hope it's black Batman. Oh, it's a family. <laughs> <laughs> so they can have them. Could you give me the remote down, darling? Yeah. yeah, it's up there. Mm. It's for the telly. I wonder what this could be. Let's Belter! See. Belters! <laughs> Here, open the box. Open the box. Open it. Is it shoes? What is it? Batman, Superman, Shoes and Lex Luthor, Shoes and Joker! What? Are you going to wear them? Belter! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't laugh! Charlie, look! <gasps> Joker and Lex Luthor! Do you love them? Yeah. I'm so happy it's my birthday! Charlie Ellis, gonna play! I'm so happy it's my birthday! Right, Charlie, come on, look! Go and play your drums!
that's that's from Sarah and Johnny and Jackson and Charlotte. Hey Batman. Hey Batman. Do you like pancakes for breakfast? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Robin? Would you like pancakes for breakfast? Well, Robin's quiet today. You want your scarf as well? It's my bad dog. Oh yeah, she's the best bad dog. It's a wee rose. Sunday and I am back in the spot that I seem to end all my vlogs at the moment. For some reason I just find them really difficult to end because I've been doing like bits every day but we'll get there. It's a wee bit of getting used to again vlogging every day but I suppose I should give you a little summary of the week. So of course it was Charlie's birthday on Thursday. We spoke a little bit about deferring school so Charlie won't be going to school until 2021. No that's the now. 2022, August 2022 is when he will start school. It's just, it's a better idea just with everything that's going on just now. He's had hardly any nursery time. He's been in nursery for months, whereas Ella had basically two full uninterrupted years of nursery before school. It definitely does do a big bit of difference in comparison to what he's got just now. So I'll be sending him next year. He would have only been four and a half going into P1, so I don't feel like it's a huge deal for me to just keep him for another year and I think he'll thrive next year. At the moment I've got so many doubts in my head about like would he cope, I see what Ella gets to do and would he be able to do that and I just think that right now there doesn't feel like there's only one academic year between them. It feels like there's two so I want to just make sure that we're doing the right thing so he'll be going next year. I've done all the forms, deferred them, it's all good to go and um, so he'll be starting when he's five and a half which is to be fair only like four months older than what Ella was when she started so it's really nothing um, and I think that will just be perfect he'll be ready to go by that point obviously there's so many kids that can start at four and a half and it's totally fine um, to be honest Ella could have started at four and a half she was totally ready to go but obviously the way her birthday fell she had to be five um, but yeah that was basically it for this week Charlie's birthday was great he got so much stuff he was so delighted and yeah which is the big Sunday rolls. I have had a glass of wine so that's why my lips look a bit purple. <laughs> I'm going to edit this and I hope you had a lovely week and had a nice day today and I will speak to you guys next week. Let me know if you like the format of these vlogs where they're kind of like sporadic and it's a bit of every day rather than just like the weekend and um, especially at the moment with everything that's going on it's probably easier to just do bits of every day rather than waiting for a weekend vlog but you can let me know in the comments what you think and I've asked on Instagram today what you guys fancy seeing over the next few while because I'd like to get back to doing three videos a week um, but time wise I'm just finding it a bit mental just now um, but yeah have a great week guys I hope you had a nice time watching this video and maybe it just chills you out or whatever I will go and edit this and see what's going on downstairs have a lovely week bye